hello everyone in this video i will show you how to solve this example this is the analysis of statically determinate structures example one in this video i will show you how to find support reactions of this b there are three steps step one is recognizing support conditions in our problem there are two support conditions a and b a is a pin support and B is a roller support. Step 2 is drawing free body diagram with support reactions. I will show you complete free body diagram in next slides. Basically we mark the support reactions on this supports. So if we have a pin support we usually mark two force components. One horizontal and one vertical force if we have roll support we usually mark one vertical force component that is step 2 step 3 finding support reaction for that we mainly use three relationships first one is we take all the horizontal forces and we take sum of it and we equal it to zero Second one is we take sum of all vertical forces and then we equal it to zero. Finally, we take sum of moment of the system and we will equal it to zero. I will show you how we find support reaction using these relationships. This is the free body diagram. You can see there are two forces in A vertical force in B. Other all forces are given in the problem. There are two forces. But in the problem there is a one force. How it became two forces? I will show you how. If you have this type of slope force in the angle of theta, you can write it as two forces. One vertical force and one horizontal force then vertical force can be written as r sin theta and this force can be written as r cos theta likewise in our case we have force of 60 newton so angle is 60 degree so now we can write this force as two forces and this vertical force has 60 times sine 60 degree and this force has 60 times cos of 60 degree okay now we can find support reactions first i will take the sum of all horizontal forces if we consider horizontal forces there are two forces one is ax and other one is 60 times cos 60 when we consider horizontal forces ax is the same direction which we consider but this force is opposite therefore i wrote ax as plus and for this force i put minus sign so now i can simplify this i can write 102 as cos 60 i can further simplify this then I can get AX equals 30 Newton. Then I will take moment. Also, I will take moment about point A. And there is a direction. Direction is clockwise direction. When we take moments, first I write 50 Newton meters and its direction is clockwise. That's why I wrote plus 50. Then I consider BY force. Force value is unknown. Therefore, I wrote BY here. And 14 is the distance between A and B. Right? A is the considering point. We take moment about A. B is, BY is the our force. So, distance between A and B is 10 plus 4, 14. Then, 60 sine 60. When I consider this force, moment due to this force is clockwise direction. If we take 
moment about A of this force, it will rotate like this. Therefore, it's clockwise direction, the same direction we consider. Therefore, I put plus sign here. And 10 is the distance between this force and point A. It's given in here. Then 60 cos 60. This force. This force go through this line. And when we consider moment due to this force, it will rotate this direction. That is counterclockwise direction. Therefore, I put minus sign here. That is the force. Then one, one is the distance between this force and point A. That is 1 meter. That's why I put 1 here. Now I can simplify this equation. So I can write square root of 3 over 2 as sin 60 and 1 over 2 as cos 60. So I wrote uh, this value for sin 60 and cos 60. Square root of 3 over 2 and 1 over 2. Now I can simplify this and I can get the answer for by. So I can get by equals 38.5 Newton. Finally I will consider sum of all the vertical forces. So there are three vertical forces Ay, By and this 60 times sin 60 force. And if we consider directions Ay and By are upward and this force is downward. So therefore I will write Ay and By as plus signs and minus sign for this 60 times sin 60 force. Now I already know this By force. I found it before as 38.5. So I substitute 38.5 for By and now I can get answer for Ay. I can get answer for A by S 13.4. Now I have found all the three support reactions. A by equals 13.4 Newton. A x equals 30 Newton. B y equals 38.5 Newton.